Ifwa Sutherland Children's Park, Greater Accra Region of Ghana is the current location and my name is Solo One, you can call me the dog blogger. We are right here for the Boabu Breeders Association of Ghana's Boa Bull Appraiser. And I am right here with the boss man who has come here with a Boa Bull that has caught the eyes of everyone. One of the tallest, one of the, should I say largest, hugest, I don't know the adjectives to, to, to bring about. Dog lovers have a look at this beauty right here. Somebody made a comment. He says, when I look at this dog, then I start to wonder how big can a lion be? That was the comment somebody was saying. He's nowhere near a lion. <laughs> He's nowhere near the size of a lion. That was what somebody was just saying. He said he can only imagine the size of a lion. Yes, boss man. Welcome to the show once again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. For, for, for. I know you've, 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 we've met at the appraisals, we've met at dog shows, we've talked. You always come with top quality boabos. I've seen you with terrible twins, knocks. I've seen you with, I think the last time, what's the name of the dog you've been brought in? Middle Paws, uh, Jumbo. Jumbo, yes. You're always pulling up with these top dogs. And today you've brought this beauty. I can't stop looking at this dog. There are lots of comments about this dog. Boss man, I like you to introduce yourself to my dog lovers. Uh, my name is Henry Boateng. Um, I breed boabos. Uh, the name of my kennel is Monsoon Boabos. Yes, uh, this is uh, Tio Wolf. Tio Wolf is, is, is a Boabu bred in SA, South Africa. Um, uh, uh, the breeder in SA is called Royal Crescent. So he's Royal Crescent Tio Wolf. Yes. Um, I bought Tio Wolf uh, as a puppy. So usually I go on Facebook, visit the pages of the different breeders across the world trying to see what they have and if I could find something that I have interesting then I try and talk to them about it so uh, I spoke to the breeder I told and you know we go into conversation about his dogs he showed me what he has and then he spoke about Tiov. at the time Tiov was four months so um, we go into conversation about him he showed me I asked for pictures of him and videos of him. Usually, when I'm buying a dog, um, I have my criteria for making my selection. Number one, or on top of the criteria, is the structure of the dog. You can have a dog with the biggest head, the biggest bone, I mean, more volume, everything that makes the dog look huge. But if he's not built on a sound structure it, it it doesn't help you understand because a dog whether the dog will move it will sit it will run it will jog it will chase something it will attack something whatever it will do it depends on the structure of the dog you understand then you can talk about other things like um, temperament and um, um, several other attributes that you can you can use in doing your selection but for me it's um, temperament first that you come to the structure of the dog it's not easy to breed a dog like this with a good structure because when you are getting size you are losing out on a lot of things um, sometimes you get a dog of this size but he's very narrow in the chest but if you look at your wolf he's wide when you look at his chest, it's quite massive. Probably wider than my chest. If you look at um, the breed standard says that, let's say the forearm of a boa bo should be the size of the forearm of, of a grown man. His, his arms are bigger than my bone. You understand? Aha. Uh -huh. So on top of all these qualities that he has, he didn't um, disappoint on, 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 let's say, um, like, what I'm trying to say is that even though he's big, he didn't disappoint by having, let's say, a bad structure. You understand? Because most big dogs cannot even, most of them, they have problems with their hips because they are not well put together. Or they have problems with um, their front quarter angulation, their hind quarter angulation, their top line, their tail setting, stuff like that. But not, not with this guy very very 
um, good top line, good hand angulation, pass tens are good, um, no narrow chest, bone size is good, head size is good, the, and even the planes and the angles on his head are very good. So he's an all-round good dog, and um, his appraisal score is testament to, to that. He was appraised at 13 months, and he scored um, 89.2. For a young dog to score, sometimes it takes some dogs about three or four appraisals to get to that score. Um, I'm, I'm not somebody who is focused on, on scores. I'm more focused on the dog in front of me and what I can use it to produce. You understand? Uh, so I'm very happy with my choice. It wasn't easy to get him. Um, he was priced quite expensive. I tried my very best to 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 you know pay and and secure him and i mean even the importation and clearing at at the swiss port and everything it's not it's not easy but it's for the love of the game <laughs> and i heard that um you, you're not into scores and all of that like you said but i heard that he's one of the highest i even heard that he's the highest one of that, the that was what I heard. One of one of the highest. One of the highest. It, it's fine. It's fine with me. Uh, people, even when I brought him today, people were asking me if I was coming to appraise him. No, I didn't come to appraise. It was just to let the other enthusiasts, the other dog lovers, see him. Because not everybody that can come to your house, um, they've heard of him. They want to come and see him. But it's not everybody that can come to your house. So when there's a, a gathering of the community like this, you want to give opportunity to your fellow breeders. Because I've seen people with some females that I think will. They will complement each other. I'm, I'm talking to the owners of those females. If we can work together, you know, do some deals and see what will come out of it. So for me, that that's that's it. I mean, um, he's available to anybody who wants to use him. Yeah, you just have to make sure that you have the money to to pay. Lovers, <laughs> have a have a look at Theo Wolf right here from Monsoon Boabos. Monsoon Boabos. So, boss man, I'm sure my viewers are. Yeah, They'll be asking, how soon is your can obviously going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> you want to put me on the spot? Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll do it this year. We'll do it this year. Definitely. Um, let's say we can do June. Okay. Yeah, by June. Yeah, we can we can have a kennel visit. Uh, you can see all the other dogs in the kennel. But currently, he's he's the top dog uh, in, the, in the kennel. Um, yeah. He gets... He gets he gets the the best of everything. <laughs> he's, the, he's the star boy. He's the he's boy, the face yeah. of the kennel. Yeah, he's a star boy. So he gets the best of everything. Last year it was it was Jumbo. It's not like I'm not taking care of Jumbo, <laughs> but you know um, he's a big boy. Uh, a lot of people are interested in him, so you have to pay particular attention to him. His feeding, um, uh, hygiene, nutrition exercise you know and paying attention to him making sure that he can um, feel the love from from my family and everything yeah so he's yeah he's he's the star of the he's the star of the kennel <laughs> the times of barcelona when they had messi neymar suarez quality players but messi is messi you have to pay you have to pay a some kind of a, uh, you, you 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 can't you can't you can't look at them the same. <laughs> you can't look at them the same. You can't pay the same um, uh, attention to to them. Yes, yeah. He he requires um, a different attention. I mean, the, the amount of food he eats. <laughs> I can imagine he's definitely going to consume a lot. A lot. Yeah, he does. He does. Um, feeding him is is okay. He's not a picky eater. Like um, you know, he. <laughs> he would he would eat whatever you give him, um, but um, there's a way he eats. So I don't pair him with any other dog, or else the other dog will eat his food. He has he likes to eat, rest, and then come back to his food again. But the, the when you give him a bowl full, by the close of day, the the the, um, the bowl will be empty. I don't like um, uh, having my dogs look fat. I like them to look lean and sharp, healthy, you understand? If I bulk my dogs, it's either for um, doing a photo shoot, doing a photo shoot, doing a, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, coming for an appraisal or coming for a show. So they have to look 
with a, they want, you have to come with a certain conditioning. Yeah, that's that's when I'll bulk my dog. Then after that, I drop the weight. Because if if I mean a dog like him, if I keep him at an excessive weight, it's not it's not it's not the best. For instance, um, his height is about uh, 72 centimeters from his paws to here, like the back of yeah. The way there's no, it's, it's about 72, and um, his head circumference is also about 70 or thereabout, you know. Uh huh. So, usually, there's a convention you use those numbers to determine what size his weight should be. When he was coming, and uh, they put him in a crate and they weighed him at the airport, it was 152 kg. So if we are to subtract the weight of the crate and the, and the um, pallets that they put him on, let's say we can take maybe between 30 to 40 kg out of it. So he, he was probably weighing at the time either 110 to 120. But um, he, he had just come out of an international show, so he was conditioned differently for the show. But coming into Ghana, I mean, he's, he's coming to uh, be a star dog. He needs to perform. The excess weight is not, is not needed. So, I mean, I've dropped about 30 kg from his weight, you know, so that he can, he can perform. So for me, it's not about a, a big dog. It's more about what I can get out of the dog in terms of production. You know, that's, that's what I'm more focused about. But... I went for a dog with a good structure and I ended up um, with something even more like a, a, a bonus. Yeah, his size is a bonus, yeah. So I paid attention to the, the structure of the dog, making sure that everything is, is according to the breed standard. Uh -huh. And the bonus was the size that he grew up to, to exhibit, yeah. Add, the add-ons are massive. Yeah. My viewers can see that when they, as we are talking, we're having the interview. I still be having stealing glances at this <laughs> magnificent beast right here. So, boss man, we are we are we are about to wrap up and all of that. If somebody wants to link up with you before you drop out your final message, social media contact and all of that. Okay, so uh, monsoon boabos, M O N S O O N boabos. Yeah, you can find me on uh, TikTok. Uh, you can find me on uh, Instagram, yes. Um, on Facebook is Henry Boating, that's my name. My phone number is 0244 76 You can send me a WhatsApp, I'll definitely respond and we can have a conversation. Any, anything that you want to talk about, any time of the day, for as long as I'm free, I will respond. No, no problem at all. No question, comment is useless. Please don't don't bother about it. Anything you want to talk about, I'm free. Yeah, I'm available for it. Yeah. Before we we leave you to go, I like you to look into this, look into a camera and tell my dog love us something. Okay, so uh, hi guys. Um, this is my uh, this is my second or third interview with you. I think we did Knox, we did Jumbo, and now we are doing Tio Wolf. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we keep we keep working hard. Uh, I'm a dog lover. This I I I can't live without dogs, you know. So I I keep doing this, um, and I try my very best to have the best um, uh, stud meals around for myself and then for the for for my friends or my uh, the other breeders that I know or those that want to anybody that wants to to use my dogs because yeah, uh, uh, I believe that you constantly have to improve, continuous improvement, trying to get the best. Either I'm breeding the best out of the, the dogs that I have, or I'm trying to bring something else to come and complement what I have. Yeah, so that's that's like my breeding policy. Always trying to improve. I, I don't I don't look at one dog as like, oh, Charlie, I have this dog, so that's it. No, 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 every time I want to get better and better and better. That's just my philosophy, yeah. Fantastic dog lovers. We just we just spoke to the boss man of Monsoon Boabos. And I'm sure you, you, you love the conversation right here. Boss man, thank you so much for letting us have you. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for always uh, trying to uh, interview myself and 
and making my 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 boys popular. <laughs> you turn them you turn them into stars and and we appreciate the opportunity so much. Yeah. Always welcome, boss man. Now, dog lovers, have a look at this beautiful boy here, Theo Wolf. 